I'm a fan of what Duke Ellington said. There's two kinds of music, good music and bad music. So for me, I'm always trying to find good music and find out why it's good. I see it as one part of my job to understand how good music is made and to incorporate those elements into my toolkit. That means being forever curious about music. I think one of the worst things a film composer can do is only listen to film music. Oftentimes, our filmmakers want something other than film music. They want a composer to bring an artistic point of view to their film. So rather than writing just strings and some piano and saying, okay, this scene's now romantic and mysterious, maybe you could do the same thing with a taiko drum and a saxophone. So filmmakers are always looking for composers to bring an artistic integrity to their films that they might not have otherwise. As a film composer, you could bring so much to the table for storytelling. And so that's why I'm forever curious. I'm always looking to understand how music is made. I'm reading books about producers, reading books about conductors. All sorts of aspects of the music industry are helpful to me as a composer and are helpful to my filmmakers because then I can bring something to the table. So for you as a student of film scoring, it's your job to learn as much as you can, not only about the range of a bassoon or the range of a tuba, both very important to know, and how an orchestra works, obviously, but how do synthesizers work? How does basic synthesis work? Maybe you wanna learn how to work with a modular synthesizer. All of these things will make you a better collaborator for your filmmaker.